What you're looking at here is an email that I created that I want to send off to Carrie. And there's her email address in the to field, kheffernan at videotrainingpro.com. The subject is ghost hunting trip. And the message, hi Carrie, what ghost hunting places do you have for our team to visit this Friday night? Something spooky, I hope. In any case, I want to show you how you can format text within the body of the message because you can apply formatting to the subject. For example, I can click anywhere in the body and up here on the message tab in the basic text group, I get the formatting options like B for bold, I for italics, U for underline that I don't get. Watch, they'll disappear when I click in the subject. So we can't format the subject. In any case, let's come down here as an example. When I hover over the text, I get what's called the I beam, an uppercase I. That allows me to click and drag and select the text that I want to apply formatting to. And why would you want to do that? Maybe to place special emphasis or to have fun to make your emails a little bit more lively than just plain text. In any case, when I select my ghost hunting text, I get what's called a mini formatting toolbar when I move up and over to the right. When I move down and away, it starts to fade away, kind of like a ghost. Let's go ahead and move back up to it. And let's click on B for bold, I for italics, and you can apply all that formatting including change in the font type. So you can click on the drop down arrow and sort it alphabetically. And when you hover over one, you can see it's giving us a preview there. Well, I can't point there because I move off of it. In any case, I'll hover over Adobe Garamon Pro and you can see the preview. Or you can come up here if you know the font and delete Arial and then just type it in like comic. And there it is, Comic Sans, and it gives you a preview. Well, it did when I was on it. Now I'm back on it. And if you like it, go ahead and hit the tab key and we can continue on the size of it. Click on the drop down arrow and let's go to 18. That's getting pretty big. And then the color, you can click on the letter A with the color bar underneath it and it will apply in this case what looks to be purple. The default is red. If not, and you want more than a single color than just the default color, well, click on the drop down arrow and there you go. Let's hover over, it gives us a preview. And the name of this square is blue accent 5 darker 25%. Ooh, that's kind of spooky, but let's go to a standard color. There you go, purple. Select it, and when I'm done, I can go ahead and click off, and the mini formatting toolbar disappears. So to bring it back up, you can click and drag to reselect the text, and there it is. If you move away, it disappears, and if you don't want to reselect it, just go ahead and right click on the selection. And it brings up the mini formatting toolbar as well as a shortcut menu where you can cut, copy, and well, paste your text somewhere else if you like. But we'll come back to that in just a second. I want to keep it simple for the mini formatting toolbar here. Well, for example, let me click off when I still have the text selected. I can come up here on the message tab to the basic text group and deselect some of the formats and also change the colors to well, orange works. Orange accent too, that is. Select it. You can also come up here and click on the Format Text tab, and there's the font group that has the same formatting options, B for bold, I for italics, U for underline. Now that brings up a good point. When you're applying formatting, or you're trying to apply formatting to a message, and these formats are not available, you may want to come over here to the Format Text tab, because in the Format group, it may be selected as plain text. So the three options are HTML, which is for hypertext markup language, and you can see in the pop-up that HTML messages can contain formatting and are compatible with most email readers, as opposed to, let's see, rich text, which is only compatible with Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Exchange. So if all you're doing is sending emails to somebody else who has Outlook or Exchange, you're good to go. If I select that, it doesn't change this at all, so no difference there. But it's only compatible with those who are on Outlook or the Exchange. And then finally, plain text, it's just as it says, it can contain no formatting. So if it's on plain text, select HTML and you're good to go. If you do select plain text, after you applied formatting to it, it says, oh, you can't do this. It's got to be plain. And if you're okay with that, then click continue. If not, click cancel. When I click continue, wipes it clean. Let's go ahead and hit undo. Go back to the way it was. And we got the HTML selected. And if you want to be able to clear all the formatting without deselecting or trying to reselect the default font, you can just come over here on the Format Text tab to the Font Group, and there's the Clear All Formatting. You can also do it on the Message tab as well, and go right there. Clear All Formatting, and we're back to where we started. And then really quick, some simple cut, copy, or paste options with the text selected. You can either right-click on it, and in the shortcut menu, you have the pair of scissors to cut it, and it moves it right to the clipboard, so that's active. 
And when you're ready, you can go ahead and click paste and it pastes it right back because that's where my cursor was at. So right back in the same place. You can go ahead and select it and let's do right click to copy. You can come to another part of the email message and come up here and click paste, 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 paste and just show that you're very obsessed with ghost hunting. I'm not going to do that. Let's hit the undo button several times. Thank goodness for undo. Or I can redo my undo, but let's undo and go back to my original message here. And then finally, there's a lot of options when it comes to formatting your text, and that's going to be Microsoft Word. So if you want to learn more about all the different formatting that you can do to your text, in fact, let me come up here and click on the Format Text tab. That also includes paragraphs, paragraph alignments, the codes, the indents. Well, go ahead and watch my Microsoft Word training video on paragraphs and fonts and formattings. I go to it in greater detail than what I'm going to do here because Outlook wasn't meant to be a word processing program, but it does pick up and bring in a lot of the elements for Microsoft Word. But for right now, I'll certainly give you enough to get you going to be able to work with when it comes to working with your text here in the body of your message. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.